so it is time for Nail Art for Beginners number seven. I am very excited about this. If you've missed Nail Art for Beginners number one through six, I will link all of those videos down below, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I made a playlist of all of those videos, so you can find them all in one spot now. And a lot of you guys have actually been requesting like Halloween and fall tutorials already, so what I did is I put together a huge playlist of all of the Halloween, Thanksgiving, fall related tutorials that I did last year. I put them into one playlist on my channel, so if you want to check that out for inspiration, if you're looking for those kind of manicures already, then definitely check that out. So let me know in the comments down below which manicure is your favorite, number one, number two, or number three. And also don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you do want to see another one of these next month so I can do that for you guys. So I hope that you enjoy it and stay tuned towards the end because I have some super exciting announcement. I guess it's an announcement that I want to share with you guys. Manicure number one. We started with a white base and then we're going in with different color nail stripers and just dragging the polish towards the center of the nail and just flicking it off so that it kind of has a wispy thinner edge and we're just going to do that all over the nail um, from both sides of the nail. I'm just going to go in with a couple more colors. And I'm just going to add some black and then I think I'll be done with the stripes. Then once you're satisfied with all of your lines, you're just going to take your darkest color, so mine is black, and you're just going to draw a line down the very edge of each side of your nail and just kind of fill it in. And the same thing on the other side. And on the other nails, I just painted them colors that I use on the stripes, put two black dots using our dotting tools, and then we're just going to put some white dots in the center of those. I just added the top coat to make my nails nice and shiny, and this is how the finished manicure looks. I absolutely love this manicure. If you wanted to, you could do the design on all of your nails, but I think just adding those polka dots completes the manicure, and it's less work. You don't have to do the design on all of your nails, and it still looks just as cute. I hope that you enjoy this one and want to try something similar out. Manicure number two. So you're going to start with whatever color you choose to and then taking your second color, you're going to paint um, a little bit over half of your nail. So not directly down the center. You want to actually extend your second color um, over the middle line. So you actually will have more of the second color on your nail than your base color. And taking a medium sized dotting tool with your lightest color you're going to just put some dots on the darker section of the nail. So they're not going to be, um, you know, going on to the lighter section, section just yet. So we're just going to have some dots going up that side. And using a very small dotting tool in that same color, we're just going to draw some small polka dots on the side of the nail. And using the same dotting tool that we used to create the pink, the larger pink dots, we're going to put black polish on there and have that dot kind of cover a little bit of the pink dot and then move on to this side of the nail as well. So it's crossing over on that line. And we're just doing that all the way up the nail. And the very last step is to go back in with our small dotting tool that we use to create this row of dots. And we're just going to pop that lighter color right onto the dark polka dot that we just created. So here is the finished design once I added my top coat. I think it's so pretty and girly and it kind of reminds me of like lace or something like that but it's really feminine and I really like how this turned out. I did my ring and my middle finger the same exact way and then on my pointer, my pinky and my thumb I just switched the colors so the black and the pink are just on opposite sides. So I think that actually adds to it looking a lot more complicated than it really is. Did you like this one? And I hope that you try it out. Manicure number three, probably the easiest of all three designs just because you don't need any dotting tools or nail stripers. You want to start with your base color, then go in with your second color. I would recommend any type of metallic color. To start towards the cuticle area, bring it down, then kind of bring it over, and then back down. Kind of like a weird S shape but you want to do it kind of quickly and all in one movement and then just fill it in. So it's kind of like a wavy S shape pattern. 
Then taking my third color, we're gonna do the same exact design, just a little bit lower down on the nail. So you're gonna bring it down, over to the side, and back down again. You wanna, again, try and do that all in one movement so that it's nice and smooth, and then just fill that space in. I just added my top coat, and here is the finished design. I think this is so cool, and as you guys saw, this is definitely the easiest of the three. This one actually reminds me a little bit of manicure number one in the very first nail art for beginners video I ever did, but that one was more of like a three-tier step design, and this is more of a wave, and I think both are equally as pretty, but I really like this one a lot too. So I hope that you enjoyed all three of these manicures and want to try one or all of them out. Okay, so my super exciting announcement, I am so excited that InStyle.com nominated me for most inspiring manicures and they're having a poll right now to vote for it so it would mean the entire world for me if you voted for me i love inspiring you guys with manicure tutorials like that is my favorite thing to do in the entire world so to win that would just be amazing so i will put that link down below in the description box if you want to vote for me if you're on a cell phone voting you have to view the non mobile version of the site or you won't see like a voting option um and if you're on your computer that you don't need to do that obviously it would be like an honor to win that I don't think you actually win anything it's just kind of like an internet poll type of thing but I still think it would be super cool to be like hey I won that um, so I hope that you guys vote I hope that you liked the video also I noticed that Nella for beginners number six got a lot less views than all of the rest so I don't know if you guys are getting sick of this or not I'm not sure so definitely thumbs up if you do want to see more of these and if you miss number six again I will have it down below um, but I hope that you're not getting sick of these videos because I love this series so much and I don't want to stop doing it. So anyway, I hope that you liked the video. I will see you guys very soon. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.